slightly different thing than a Brooklyn city would because even New York City is a, a pretty big place. But uh, no, I think it's positive. I think that one of the most positive things about hip hop is that you do get the sense of uh, what a person's uh, community is like through um, what the rapper of that community is talking about. And uh, being that that's one of the strengths of hip hop culture, uh, it's, it's a positive thing when uh, the music is full of rappers from different areas because you're getting a fuller sense of what the black community as a whole is uh, dealing with, our issues and our, our different perspectives. jazz era. Jazz is another form of music that was primarily created by African Americans that allowed uh, uh, a certain amount of uh, social movement to happen for the musicians involved and for the people artistically involved in the, the progression of jazz. Hip-hop took things to a different level because it was uh, a bigger field. Uh, in other words, as I mentioned, there are four elements to it. There's art, there's dance, uh, you know, the DJing, producing, and, and the music itself. And uh, it allowed uh, people who were proficient in all four of these elements to, to rise and to get ahead and to create jobs and to have a certain amount of uh, social uplift. Uh, and the prefecture, you are right. talking about new immigrants. Right. But I'm more talking about the third generation of immigrants in okay. France. Uh, these guys they have trouble to uh, be emancipated in France today. Mm -hmm. And they have trouble to access uh, jobs and uh, right, good uh, social situation. Of course. And uh, as you uh, said uh, in the US, mm -hmm. uh, I think that it was a bit the same in France because uh, hip hop was a music and sport, as I told you, was right. a way to take this social uplift. Right. Uh, but these guys, I mean, they don't have the same chance when it comes to the posi positive discrimination policy. Right, right. And um, I wanted, uh, I wanted you to, to, to comment a bit your your view on this hip hop movement in France right. first. And do you see or do you think that it is possible today to have the same kind of positive discrimination policy in France? Mm -hmm. No, as I mean we got it in uh, in the U.S. Yes. No. Uh, you know, to me, I'm. Uh, I'm very much in favor of uh, a positive discrimination policy in France. 
Uh, I've read different uh, articles over the years uh, in different journals, newspapers, dealing with uh, discrimination in terms of job. That uh, if they see that uh, your name is uh, of uh, Muslim origin, uh, they're not going to look at your CV because uh, they don't want to hire people uh, that are not uh, white French. Uh, this is a, a great problem as well uh, at the Grand École, for example, the, the big schools uh, that uh, produce uh, the highest paid uh, people in France uh, that are sort of equivalent to the Ivy League schools in America, uh, like Harvard and Yale that produce most of our presidents in America. Um, they discriminate against uh, people who are not white French or people from the banlieue or the, the cité, uh, the projects and outlying suburban areas of Paris that are uh, poor. And uh, all this is a, is a big problem. But the strange thing to me is, uh, which is sort of a big problem in France as well for people of color, is uh, the lack of... Uh, how do I put this? I don't see all that many blacks in the media. Uh, it's as if uh, I almost never really see any black actors in films or, or films targeted or to black uh, to the black population in France. Uh, I know that uh, uh, the César Award, which is the French uh, equivalent of the Oscar. Uh, has never been awarded to anyone of color in the history of uh, the César Awards. Uh, they haven't given many Oscars to black people in America either, <laughs> but uh, more and more recently with uh, Jamie Foxx, uh, the actor winning for his portrayal of uh, Ray Charles in uh, the movie Ray, who won uh, an Oscar, and um, Jennifer Hudson, uh, yeah, Denzel Washington is another uh, recent winner. Uh, it's possible, it's, it's becoming more and more possible, whereas it's never ever happened in France, which is a country that claims that there is no racism and in their census forms uh, for the statistics, there's nowhere to mark uh, your color because it's supposed to be so unimportant. But at the same time, there's no positive discrimination policy that would allow uh, people from poor areas to to advance socially? I think there are several factors that uh, explain the existence of hip-hop in the 70s as opposed to earlier. Uh, one is uh, the arts programs in America. Uh, while I was uh, attending high school uh, in the 1980s, uh, there were music programs that were cut from the budget of uh, many cities, New York City included, where uh, pr prior to this cutting, it was uh, an obligation to take classes to learn how to play music. Uh, to learn how to play, you had a choice of the saxophone or the trumpet or uh, the bass or whatever, but uh, music instruction was, was uh, obligatoire. It was like, uh, you had to take it. It was a requirement. And uh, once these programs were cut uh, that were funding the music programs, there was a whole generation that didn't know how to play music, but still had the need to create music. And they took what they could take, which was uh, the records in their parents' record collections and the turntable that uh, was connected to the stereo in their house. And uh, if they couldn't afford to buy a guitar or a, a drums, uh, they would buy another turntable and just play the record that they already had and to try to <coughs> create some music from what they had, a microphone and two turntables, which is all Run DMC ever had. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was a rap band, but not a band like the Beatles. It was <laughs> a rap band where all you need are two turntables and a microphone. Um, prior to that, uh, in the 1960s and the 1950s, there were these music programs where if you had a love of music,